Hello everyone, my name is Shay and I am a student at the American Stroke Foundation. Today I am going to be teaching all of you how to set up a Zoom, Skype, and FaceTime phone call. These are three platforms that are free for people to use that allow you to see your friends and your family face to face and talk to them, see how they're doing. I know in a pandemic it can be hard to reach out and stay connected to your friends and your family. These are three options to allow you to stay in touch with those you love. Okay, everyone, so we are going to start with Zoom. We are going to set up an account. We are then going to learn how to schedule a meeting. We're going to learn how to invite people to that meeting, and we're going to learn how to start the meeting. So I did turn my cursor red, and I made it bigger so that hopefully all of you will be able to see it easily and follow along so you can schedule Zooms. So you're going to want to first open up your web browser. I am using Google Chrome, but you can use whatever your computer has. You're going to want to go to the search bar at the top of the page and you're going to type Zoom, Z-O-O-M dot U-S into the search bar and hit enter. It will take you to a page that looks like this. You are going to want to click on the big orange button in the top right corner that says sign up, it's free. Click on that and you'll get redirected to this page where you are going to enter your birthday in. So I'm just going to use January 1st of 1992. And then so once you enter in your birthday, um, the continue button turns blue. So you're going to want to click on that. So enter your birthday and click continue. This is where it's asking for your email. So whatever email you have access to, go ahead and type that in. I made an email just for the purposes of showing you guys how to set up this Zoom, so that's what I'm typing in. And then you hit sign up. Once you hit sign up, it's going to show you this. This is just saying that they sent an email to that email that you need to go and confirm. So I'm going to go to my email. The link has not popped up yet, so I'm going to refresh in the upper left corner. And then you can see here it says Zoom. That is the email we need. So we are going to double click on that. When you open it, it should look like this. You're going to hit that orange activate account button. You might need to scroll down or scroll to the left or the right in order to find this button, but once you do click on it and it will redirect you to a page that looks like this. From here, you are going to enter your first name and your last name, and then you are going to create a password. So this can be something easy or something hard. Just make sure you can remember it, write it down if you need to. It, there are some requirements. If you don't meet one of them, it will change to red and let you know. So make sure you do meet the requirements that Zoom has set up. And then there's a question that is yes or no. Go ahead and make sure it says no. That's just asking if you are in primary or secondary school, so K through 12th grade. And then, so if you are, you can hit yes, but if you're not, hit no, and then hit the orange continue button. So you can save your password if you want to. Some computers do that, some don't, so if yours doesn't pop up that box, don't worry about it. Here is where you can invite friends. If you want to type in the email of some people you know, you can invite them to Zoom. Make sure you click the I'm not a robot button and then the orange invite. But if you don't want to do that, which I'm not going to today, I'm going to go to the right of it and hit skip this step. So once you do that, this is having you start a test meeting. We do not need to do that today, so I'm going to just hit go to my account. But if you feel like doing a test meeting, go ahead and hit start meeting now.
but for today I'm just going to hit go to my account. So when you log into Zoom, this is what it's going to look like. So from here we are going to learn how to start a meeting. So what you're going to want to do is on the left side of your screen, go ahead and hit meetings. So you can either do it from this page or at the top there is a schedule meeting button or you can click on the schedule meeting button that is a third of the way down on the right side of your web page. So it turns blue when you hover over it. So I'm going to click on it. It pulls up this page. So here is the title of your meeting. I'm going to title mine Zoom Example. Below it you can type in a description if you want to, but you don't have to. Below description is when. So this is when you want the meeting to occur. If you want it for today, that automatically pops up. If not, you can hit the red calendar next to it and select whatever day you want. So I'm going to do Sunday, January 10th. And you can see when I clicked on the day, it automatically changed it in the box. And then here is a drop down to select what time you want it to be. I'm going to pick 1 p.m. So below when is the duration. If you have more than three people, you can only zoom up to 40 minutes with the free version, but if it's one-on-one, -on -one, you can have unlimited amount of zooms and select your time zone. So I am in the Eastern time zone, so I'm going to click on that. Below that, it pops up the meeting ID, security, which has a passcode, the video, make sure you turn the video on for host and participants. And then you're going to hit save, which is the blue button at the bottom. So now you have created your meeting. Now you need to invite people to the meeting. I usually do this right after I create the meeting because it automatically directs me to this page and it's easy to find. So what you're going to do is about two thirds of the way down on the right side of your browser, there is a copy invitation button. When you hover over it, it is underlined in blue. Go ahead, click on that. And it pops up this window that has the meeting invitation in it. You're gonna hit the blue copy meeting invitation at the bottom right corner of this window. You can see it's highlighted, a little thing that popped up that said copy to clipboard. You can go ahead and hit the X in the top right corner of this window because it's already copied. So how you're going to invite people is you are going to go to your email you're going to compose a new email. You can send it to whoever you want. I'm going to send it to Zoom example at yahoo.com. You type in your friend or your family's email. You can add a subject. And then down here in the box, just paste in what you copied from the clipboard. I do this through Control V. If you have a Mac, it might be different. You can always right click and hit paste in order to get it in there. And then you just hit send and it will send out the link. So now to start a meeting, when I'm logged in, it's going to look like this. You're going to want to hit meetings that are on the left side right below profile. And here you'll see your meetings. So, so far I only have this one. When I hover, hover over this meeting, three options pop up. You're gonna wanna hit the blue start option. Once you hit start, this will pop up. You're gonna hit open Zoom meetings. It's going to load and this will pop up. You can make it full screen up in the top right corner. Down in the bottom left corner, there are two buttons. There's a microphone button that says mute, and to the right of it, there's a start video button. You click on that start video, and it will start working. As participants start to join, they will start to pop up on your screen. And then when you are done with your meeting, down in the bottom right hand corner, there is this red end button. You just click that, and your meeting will end. And that is all for Zoom.
We are going to move on to FaceTime. So as a reminder, you and the person you are trying to video call needs to have an iPhone in order to do FaceTime and they have to be in your contacts. So the first thing you're going to do is open your phone and locate the green phone button. This can be in different locations on different phones. For mine, it is in the bottom left corner. So once I find that button, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Once you click on it, it opens up whatever option you had open last. You're going to make sure you hit the third option on the bottom of your screen which is the contacts button so as I said earlier they do need to be in your contacts you can either scroll to find their name or at the top of your screen there is a search bar and you can search their name to find them whichever method you do you're gonna want to click on their name and this is going to open up their contact card you're going to hit the third button at the top right under their name that says video and this will start the FaceTime. When it's calling, it'll say FaceTime and once they answer the call, it will say connecting. So here you can see my FaceTime went through and in order to end the FaceTime, you just hit that red end button in the bottom right corner. We are going to move into Skype now that you know how to Zoom. It is similar to Zoom, however, a little bit different. You can get an app on your phone or iPad that is Skype if you don't want to do it on your computer, but I'm going to show you how to create a Skype account from your computer. So what you're going to want to do, similar to Zoom, is go to open up your internet browser I use Google Chrome like I said earlier but you use whatever it is that you choose to use and at the top or in this search bar you're going to type skype.com and hit enter it will take you to this page you are going to click create a free video call that is in the a blue button on the left side of the screen that will take you to this page and you are going to hit create a free meeting the blue button on the right side of the screen once that loads it's giving you a link to join the skype you can click share invitation the blue button to share it there are a few different options i'll show you through gmail so it will redirect you to your email with the link already copied in and you just send it to whoever you would like to Skype with you. So I'm going to send it to an email address I created earlier today. So you just type the email address into the two and then you hit the blue send at the bottom left corner. Once it sends, it will redirect you back to the Skype page, as you can see here. So now, right under Share Invite, there is Start Call. We are going to click on Start Call, and you will get redirected to this page. If you do not have Skype, you are going to click this Download Skype button and follow the on-screen instructions. But I already have Skype on my computer, so I'm just going to click Open Skype. This part of it is very similar to... Once you hit that open Skype button, it will pop up this window. You can, if you already have a Microsoft account, you can type in the Skype username, phone number, or email in this box. But we are going to click the button create one that is right below that bar so that we can create an account. So click the create one button and then you can either use your phone number. I'm going to hit this button down here that says use your email instead and use an email to create this account. So you just type in your email or phone number if you chose the phone number option. Once you type in the information, you're going to hit that blue next button and you are going to create a password. I recommend writing this password down, that way you do not lose it. You are going to hit the next button and then type in your name. I'm going to use John Doe again. 
and hit the blue next. Again, you're going to type in your birthday. I'm going to do January 1st of 1993. Use the pull down tabs to scroll to what your birthday is. Once you put in your birthday, we're going to hit the blue next. And now here it's asking you to verify your email. So open up your email that you use to create this account. If it doesn't automatically pop up, which mine has not, you can refresh by hitting this circle with an arrow. And now here you can see the uh, Microsoft account email. So click on that and it gives you a four, four digit code in the second line of the email. You're going to take that code and type it into this box. If you can't remember it, you can always toggle back and forth. Make sure you hit the Skype icon at the bottom of your page instead of at the top in the browser to open up this window again. So you just type the four digit code into the line provided and then hit the blue next. Next it is going to ask you to solve a puzzle. You may need help with this. Once you complete the game it is going to um, have you continue working on your Skype profile so you can pick a picture if you want. This is just testing your audio. Make sure, make sure it's working. You can just hit the blue continue button in the bottom right corner. This is to test your video and to find contacts when you're done. Hit the blue OK in the bottom right of the window and then it will open up your Skype. So now you have an account. You can hit on the left side this meet now button and hit the first option which is host a meeting. A window pops up you're going to hit the blue continue. So as you can see there is a preview for your video and to the left of it is your link to the call. You just hit the share invite button below it and again those options pop up so you can send it to whoever you want and then you hit start meeting. Similar to Zoom, as they join it will start to pop up and to end the meeting you hit the red end button. As a recap, today you learned how to Zoom, Skype, and FaceTime. I hope this is something you found useful and will use in the future to stay connected to those you may have not seen or talked to in a while. Thank you for watching and have a good day.